you understand? Menstruation is not uh, an offensive word. It's not an insult. If you go to any grade uh, three, grade four book, you find it there. The word is there. You understand? And uh, as a political leader, <coughs> sometimes you need to use very strong language to make a point. Even Akainde Ichirema himself, when he was in opposition, he used to use certain languages, certain words, mm. but no one arrested him. When Hakainde Ichirema was campaigning in Mwansawombwe, huh? when he was in opposition, yeah. campaigning in that Mwansawombwe by election, mm. he called the people of Mwansawombwe Chikala. That's what he said. He said, uh, when these people bring uh, their money to bribe you, just get the money and tell them, Namirira Impia Shenu Bafkala. That's what he said. That kind of thing, insulted. Now, you tell me, innocent. For, for the sake of uh, this, uh, because you're live on TV and young people are watching, of course, uh, maybe I'll advise you to use a word which could be appropriate for, for, for TV and okay. not that word. So that one is not appropriate, is it? Not at all. But I can say menstruation, eh? Much better. Good. So that drives my point home. Nonetheless, um, so, so what is happening now, uh, Innocent, is that Haka uh, Inde Ichirema wants to create a code, a code of conduct for the opposition. You understand? He wants to create a code of conduct for the opposition, which he himself did not adhere to. You understand that part? Mm. He wants to create a code of conduct. He is telling the opposition, say, the opposition, you can only use this list of words. Nothing out of this list of words. If you use any word outside this list of words, we will arrest you and will detain you for a week without charging you. Meanwhile, when he was in opposition, he was a very unruly opposition leader. Very unruly. And he was a crybaby. He was a crybaby. He was crying every day. Very unruly. He was telling, you know, he would go on radio and tell um, uh, the head of state at that time, Mr. Lunga, and say, um, uh, in fact, uh, I've got uh, uh, people in the intelligence system. Before the daily intelligence briefing gets to you, it's brought to me. You understand? That's what he was saying. He went in Mongu there and refused to get out of the road for the head of state to pass. The presidential motorcade. He broke the presidential motorcade. That is very unruly behavior. So, how can the Hitler, the unruly opposition leader, is today trying to prescribe a code of conduct to ask the opposition? that you can't use the word menstruation. But him was using the word chikara. That's totally unacceptable. So Haka Inde Ichirema wants to uh, become a dictator. He wants to become a dictator. He wants to, um, uh, you know, Afno Yofia wants it. Afno Piki Musha wants it. Just because he's got the instruments of power. He's forgetting that the Zandan people gave him those instruments of power so that he can use the instruments of power to improve the lives of the Zambian people, the economy, to create employment. That is why the Zambian people gave him the instruments of power. The Zambian people did not give Haka Inde Ichirema the instruments of power so that he can go and rock up Sean Temple for six days without being charged. That is not the reason why the Zambian people gave him those instruments of power. So he's abusing himself. He wants to rattle everybody. He wants to pismusha <coughs> everybody. He wants to become a dictator. You know. So like I told you, innocent, we are not going to allow Haka Inde Ichirema to become a dictator. Maybe he can become a dictator on other people, but to me, I will not allow him. And I want to tell him, Aisha, you can't intimidate me. You can't intimidate me. As simple as all that. 